for us. We are approaching uh, doing a solo for Sentimental Journey in our ongoing class by starting off uh, improvising, but adding harmony, adding a chord. So we're self-contained. We can do a solo without a bass player, without anybody else. And just looking at the chord structure in verse three or any of the verses, we have, we start off with three measures of G. I am block chording that G chord on the downbeat. So it looks like this. And then the rest of the notes can be single notes in the measure. We're just going to practice this technique playing one string, the A string, which I'm playing with my ring finger because this is my configuration when I'm finger picking like this and when I'm block chording, so it's right there. So we've got two, three, four, G, a two, a three, a four chord, one, a two, a three, a four, a one, two, three, four, a minor, D7, G, C7, G, D7, G. So how can we vary that a little bit using just one string? Well, the only way we're going to do it is rhythmically. So we could do something like this. That sounded like a little bit more of a solo. And we were still just doing one string, but we changed up the rhythm of those, uh, of those notes. So you see how we're kind of making a slow progression towards uh, improvising? Now, what would happen, darlings, if we throw another note into uh, the party here? And we picked on not only the A string, but the E string. So it might look like something like this. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you see how you can slowly build a solo with this technique, a block chord on the downbeat or whenever you want to do it. And then the rest of the notes in the measure can be single notes. And we're playing the notes. This is really important. We're playing the notes that are available to us in the chord. We're not reaching out past that yet. We got enough possibilities using the notes that are already available to us as we make the chords with our left hand. It is so fun.